Okay, in the workbook, this is where we're adding a sweep along this switch plate. So let's go over here to SolidWorks. We will open up the copy we have of that switch plate. So let me go down and find that. Uh, switch plate, open that. And so here is that switch plate. And this has a little edge. It depends on how big your radius is. If you don't have much of one, then make this radius smaller so you do have an edge. And what we're doing is going to sweep a shape all the way around this. Now, if here you can see how we've drawn this sketch right here. So, let me move this over a bit. It's being cranky. Alright, not sure why it's acting this way, but let's draw this in here. Well, the first thing we have to do is draw a sketch. And let's click on this surface right here. And then we'll go draw a sketch. And so in this case, I'm going to start right here. Draw a line to here. And then draw a line out here. Make sure it's attached to the little yellow line so that it's that a 90. I'm going to add a relationship now so that that line's already selected. Click this one and make them equal. All right. Now we will add a center point arc. So we have a center point arc. I'm going to click here, go out and click that end, and come around to catch that end. That's the first sketch. The second sketch, uh, they tell you to do a... Um, convert entities. I'll show you a little simpler way. I'm going to turn this around so we can look at the back. And I'm going to click on here, click on this surface, and now just going to draw a corner rectangle. So I'll start right here at this corner, zoom out, drag it down to here, and click it to there. Okay, that is the pathway. So if I now zoom into here, and we're going to do a sweep. The first one is the profile. That would be this sketch. The second one is the path, which is here. Okay, I got something wrong. So let's fix it. Let's go in and look at this sketch. I'm assuming I have an end that isn't meeting. So let me get out of... So let me go into here. Oh, I see what I've done. Hang on, I've made a boo-boo. There we go. Okay. So now let me try that and see if that is going to work correctly. Uh, no. Okay, so let's go back to that first sketch and edit that sketch because I think I've got where the ends aren't meeting correctly. So I'm going to get rid of this line real quick and just redraw it. So it goes from here to here. There we go. Okay. And exit the sketch. Now let's try the sweep. So I'll click the sketch and I click this. There we go. And there's the sweep. Green check. And now it has swept that all the way around the plate. And we'll save it. go and save and so on this you would just email me this okay the last thing in the uh, tutorial over here is you do a coffee mug I went past it for here so let me uh, let's make this a little smaller there we go and let's make the view 100%. There we go. So here you're going to make a coffee mug. Um, 
this gives you some dimensions. Uh, you can be creative if you want to do this. Um, but basically, I don't. You don't have to give it a volume. Just make yourself a coffee cup somewhere around these dimensions. So you draw uh, this as a revolve. Okay, do it as a revolve because this bottom is thicker than the walls. Okay, uh, or no, it's anyway. Do that, uh, and then you would add the sweep to make the handle, a sketch for the path, and one end would have the shape you want to do over it. And that would be it for module 40. Uh, again, as far as uh, sending me these, make e drawings of parts, assemblies, and drawings, and then just email those to me. And I will then grade directly on those and email them back. So thank you much and enjoy this one.